Hello everyone. Welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is total lunar eclipse. This topic relates to the geography section of the UPSCCSE syllabus. Let's see why this is in news. Recently, a total lunar eclipse or blood moon was observed on the 7th to 8th of September 2025. It was fully visible across most of Asia, including all parts of India and also Western Australia. Partial phases were seen in Europe, Africa, Eastern Australia and New Zealand. Now let's discuss about lunar eclipse. A total lunar eclipse happens when the Earth passes directly between the Sun and the Moon, covering the Moon entirely with Earth's shadow. This alignment makes the Moon darken and glow red, giving the term blood moon. Unlike solar eclipses, Lunar eclipses are safe to watch with naked eyes without any protection. They are visible from anywhere on the night side of the Earth, provided the skies are clear. Now let's discuss why does Moon turn red? The reddish glow occurs because of Earth's atmosphere. As sunlight passes through the atmosphere, shorter wavelengths like blue and violet are scattered away. Longer wavelengths like red and orange are bent and refracted towards the moon. This makes the moon appear in deep copper or crimson shades. The intensity and shade of red vary depending on dust, pollution or volcanic ash in the atmosphere. Now it's time to do a practice question. Consider the following statements regarding a total lunar eclipse. 1. The moon appears red because Earth's atmosphere scatters shorter wavelengths of sunlight and bends the longer red wavelengths towards the moon. 2. Unlike a solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse can safely be observed with the naked eye. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.